do another live stream here. This is part of our member area videos and uh, part of the uh, the uh, podcast as well. So. Uh, So I'm going to be talking about uh, slash chords. We're going to use uh, on Green Dolphin Street to to talk about these things. And um, so basically, what we're going to do is is think of a, of a chord, and it's going to be above the uh, some bass note. So that's kind of the basic concept of it. And then we'll. Uh, write some things out. So maybe I'll open up here by um, playing some, play a little bit on the tune. And um, so I'm trying out something a little bit new, which is, um, is to play along with some um, uh, kind of backing tracks and stuff. So I'm going to be using um, the iReal Pro here. And uh, hoping, uh, kind of crossing the fingers, hoping the audio works out. But this should be a regular, become a regular part of what I'm doing uh, with the videos. So uh, it's taken quite a long while to uh, develop this whole thing, but um, I think it's going to be worth it in the end. All right, so um, get started here. Okay, so there we have um, when you hear a couple of things that that we were doing there. Um, so I played pretty much single line melody, I think the first chorus through, and then um, second chorus through, I played some uh, 
more um, chords, but um, you can kind of hear that even the first one, we're thinking about some uh, maybe arpeggios there, and then so we can go. So the kind of the idea is we have, um, let's say, a G minor triad over E flat, which is kind of what an E flat major seven is in this uh, uh, trap two voicing. Okay, now if we take this um, G minor triad and turn it into a G flat major triad, so also first inversion. Okay, then uh, and put that over E flat. Okay, then we get uh, E flat minor seven. So even um, you know, seventh chords, you could think of them as slash chords. Okay, then we're gonna take, now this gets a little interesting, right? So we're gonna take this G flat and lower it a half step, okay? And we're gonna put it over this E flat here. So, so you might think, oh, okay, well this sort of looks like third inversion of um, F7, okay? So it's a matter of how we're, we're perceiving it. So we have, um, the F major triad first inversion over the E flat. But you can see one of the reasons to really think about it in this way is that we're gonna, um, you're gonna see the kind of continuity of the chord. So we have this basically like a pedal tone here, E flat, right? these things are moving along. So let's check out one more chord. So we'll, uh, E major, so if E major, over E flat. And so we have the E major triad there. Okay, on strings two, three, and four. And then we have the um, E flat over the E flat. So then we get kind of an E major seven, uh, third inversion. But if we just kind of watch um, those notes go down. Okay, and then we could resolve it on that E flat. So it's really kind of cool how it how it transitions over. So what I'm gonna do is uh dial up this iReal Pro again. It'll slow down the tempo some. Okay, and then um and then I'll demonstrate that. So I'm gonna play basically just the first a uh, few bars there. Okay, so, and uh, maybe what I'll do, is I'll see if I can get the, um, get the visual on that, uh, see what I can, I can do there. So we see what we're doing, we're, we're holding that E flat, Okay, and we're moving the uh, chord voicings above it, basically based on the um, triad. Uh, so it's kind of a simple triad, and um, and then we have the kind of the bass note. So I don't know. I'm not sure if this is going to follow along with us. Um, I kind of don't think so, but I, well, I think um, you'll at least be able to see kind of the the chord changes. So I'll put the chord changes in. You'll be able to see the shapes that I've got here too. So this is the first um, eight bars of Green Dolphin Street. All right, here we go. Okay, 
Okay, let me restart that because as soon as I hit play, ah, move my screen all around. Hold on. Sorry about that. Technical uh, difficulties. Let me see if I can get that fixed up for us. Gotta figure out how to kind of hide the menu. There. Oh, there we go. Let's see if that helps. Doesn't seem to want to let me do that. All right, we'll try this again. I'd like to do kind of the, my own backing tracks and stuff. Um, but uh, this is kind of a quick, convenient way to have a um, rhythm section going. So I guess that only problem was as soon as I press play, it sort of adjusts it. So anyway, I'll have to work on, on that at a different time. But let's just kind of hear it. Okay, and so that last chord uh, that I did there, just playing kind of an, uh, a C7 there, um, just moving from this to this, which is also kind of a slash chord too, you could think of that um, in terms of a E diminished kind of over this uh, C chord. All right, so let's uh, write this out a little bit here. See, see what we can uh, do with all this. All right, so we'll um, write out some some shapes. For the uh, for these, so you can uh, maybe see them visually and just maybe practice them. So hopefully this will help us out a little bit. All right, so we're gonna have. This G minor. Okay, so we have the G minor triad here. Okay, and then we're kind of putting that over over this note. So I'll write that one below. So we have this. All right, and then we're going to go to our next next shape. So these two notes here are just going to move down. So the notes on strings three and two are going to move down by a half step. So that gives us the G flat major. Okay, and then we'll uh, duplicate this one. Now on this one, all three are going to move down by a half step. So now we have F major. Okay. All right, so that is uh, fifth position. I'm just playing first inversion, F major. Okay, and then we have 
the E major. So this is going to be kind of the most dissonant one, right? So we have the uh, E major triad, in this case, first inversion over the E flat. And then we're going to end up moving that by a half step down to to this. And you could end up using this as, as kind of an arpeggio or uh, whatever you like. So you could do it as a chord all together. Or separate. Now, if you play it kind of separate, then you might, you know, do. They brought in the range of it a little bit. Okay, so. Um, play through kind of slowly, do some. Um, chord changes here and uh, maybe I'll focus on the on the chords a little bit this time through. So we'll do a chorus with the chords and then um, so this is live stream so if you have any questions let me know. All right here we go. Okay, so there you can see some of the chord shapes, and I'm really using pretty much just strings two, three, and four uh, to play through on that. All right, well, I'll just take uh, one more chorus here, just kind of for fun, and uh, to play us out. I'll leave it in this uh, viewing mode so you can check that out. Thank you. 
everyone well thanks for checking out this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for being a member if you are and thanks for checking this out on the uh, podcast if you're checking it out there thanks and have a uh, really good practice session and uh, we're enjoying the uh, guitar see you in the next one <laughs>